Hello and welcome to Downtime Activities and welcome back to our two-player Baldur's Gate 3 game. Uh, last time we got Karlak. Welcome to the party. And now we are off to beat up some fake paladins. Let's get them, boys. I think there's kind of a way to climb up there from over here. You mean, right, this, you mean this ladder? Yes. <laughs> Dead Toll Collector. Mm, 43 hmm. gold. Well, I think obviously I, uh, Carlock and I should just walk in through the front door. I think you should. And maybe Gail and I will walk in through the back door. Oh, autosave. <laughs> Usually bodes well. Comforting. I'm going to go ahead and just activate my symbiotic ident er, identity <laughs> entity now. And Please, listen in your dialogue. No more. Leave us in peace and we. Are you, uh... Nah. Maybe you should have had you along to listen to this conversation. I just clicked on it. I'm, I'm hearing. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Mm, insight. Let's just, uh... Add me a little bit of guidance. Nice. There's something in the squint of his eye. You suspect he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> but enough of the charade. I know who you enough. really are. Enough. I'll not play pretend anymore. Karlak, your going home in pieces needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now, and I'm never going back! Oh, there you, you sir, I'd listen to the flaming woman. Ow. Man, that was exceptionally rude. <laughs> ah, critical miss. <laughs> Let's start with a good old fashioned rage. Death is but a word away. Oh, I forgot to wow. use freaking find familiar again. <laughs> God, I'm the worst. I'm terrible. Why am I so bad? Uh... Funnily enough, this weapon now counts as a. Uh, thrown weapon because of that bonus that she got, uh, which I'm not going to do, but uh, I'm not going to just throw this. Ow! Oh, Alright. Down in one. And Carlac's at one. Because that guy has multi-attack and... Nope. Carlac's down. Well, dang. <laughs> and then that lady just shoved my body across the floor. Take that. Yeah, we both, and nice. we both failed at uh, saving throws. That was. Yeah, and uh, uh, you're the only active member of the uh, party currently because of whole Why person. Why can't I use my reaction? What did she do to me? Oh, I used it for an opportunity attack on my last turn. Well, I'll just kill her and then I'll get Gail back. Where can Gale get to? Can he make it all the way around here? Not quite. How many hit points do these guys have? 44 and 32. Yeah, all of... Uh, we were. I was able to make one attack and it missed, and Karlak wasn't able to get an attack on the other one. What now? And I've got some temp HP. Oh, I've never... Did I never cast Shillelagh? Maybe I already did. I don't remember. Uh, I think I'm going to wait for them to push into here. He doesn't have like any buffs he can do for this turn. Yeah, I think I'll just 
hold for now and make them push into here. He's gonna give us two attacks though. Nice. That's huge. That's super wow. huge. Ah. Start with Excellent. Uh oh. Night. Now we can focus on the big guy. Crit <laughs> 26. Nice. Let's go. All right. We need to save against that, but I don't think I can healing word. I, well, maybe I could move to here, and he wouldn't get an attack of opportunity. Is that? Me to where I can. Uh, well, it's not giving him an. If I move to here, will it give him an attack? It's saying he doesn't have an attack opportunity. He, oh, he does. Okay, that's sweet. Didn't show the arrow. That's fine. Uh, I didn't want to be alive anyways. That's bogus. Why didn't it give show that he was going to get that attack opportunity? Well, I'm probably going down because of that now. But at least you two will be up to help finish it. Oh, that nice. gave you heals you for one. <laughs> uh, he's gonna down me here for sure, unless he just misses. <laughs> uh oh, and he will cur up. Mm -hmm. Oh great. And I didn't get a turn either. Cause I got in snaring strike. Uh, <laughs> Whatever big AOEs you've got, use them now. <laughs> I mean, I've got burning hands. I just, I don't. That probably. I don't know if I can catch bolt. I can catch a bolt in this. That's something. And he lost his concentration on shield, I believe. It is what it is here. It's going down almost certainly. Yep. Jeez. Well, <laughs> that's, that's that's one of the ones where it like it just literally comes down to bad luck in the first round just completely ends the an entire, entire combat. Yeah. I mean this is a Which real is... fight. That dude is is not a joke. Right. <clears throat> We've we've had a couple issues with this game, both in, in well, like that that time with in in this one, and then the uh, recently in our four player game with like the UI. <laughs> like yeah, that was very frustrating because it gives that little like red arrow when there's an attack of opportunity, unless there was some sort of mm -hmm. just box in the way of on the ground or something that was tricking that, my eye like there was no i was like oh he must have somehow already used his reaction for some other ability we we're, were just having a bunch of issues with it in the um in our four player game with like it sort of lying about the shove attack mm -hmm. <laughs> like where it, how far it was actually going to throw them or lying about what the um uh the dc was on the stuff. check yeah uh, like I never would have attempted it if I'd known the DC was 21 because it told me it was 10. Yeah. And I went, oh, I, of course I'll do this. Like I can't fail. First things first. All right. Oh, she's walking outside. Oh my! Wait a second. Gale, summon your spider. Uh, well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. No, no, I want to block her. Oh, she's going in through the upstairs part because I blocked this door. What is she doing? I'm gonna block the door uh, so the yeah. mage can't get back in, and then I can kind of boy <laughs> her outside. Are you uh, are you ready for me to walk in then? Uh, yes. I think she's freaked out because of Gale Spider. <laughs> I would be too. The air is ripe with magic. Ungroup, 
Gail, keep blocking that up Just there. Oh, she's coming in from upstairs. Once again, attempted insight check. Add bonus. Okay. Just saw the gun go. I just hear running footsteps all over the place. She's, clearly she just some, went through from upstairs to get back inside. She's there's going, clearly some other meta battle going on outside of this conversation. Have my vengeance. Right, Gail, come up here. Never a dull moment. Should my horse down. Well, the fight's are gonna start quite soon. Give me just a second if you can to get some people Most in excellent. position. Well, it's about to fight start because Carlac's setting herself on fire. So. Ah. I think I'm good. Ah. Well, the archer ran into your room, so. Well, I'm in this room this time, so we can focus <laughs> this big guy. Uh, Gail. Hello, sir. You'll probably down me on my turn, or your turn, but not before I do some damage to you. Oh, yes. If we focus him, there's a chance here. Mm. I flourish. And he's off balance. Don't exactly know what that does for us. Oh, nice. ooh. <laughs> The last thing that guy, last thing that guy needed was auto crits. <laughs> Here's the one thing. Nice. Let's roll the dice. Magic weapon infusion. Sweet. I think that makes your weapon a plus one. Uh, well, it 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 gains uh one to six force damage. Uh, and it gains the light and throne properties. Oh. <laughs> Can she reach him from there? Uh, or do no. I need to move? Uh, I, I, oh, actually, it's, try, it's trying to route her like around the desk. She doesn't have any movement left. So. Uh, okay. I can't move without taking the attack opportunity. It's showing me this time. Uh, so he is going to get a turn. He'll hopefully swing at me since I have all this temp HP. But he'll probably... Oh, no! He was on fire. Or something. Uh, he just died. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care if this. Thing uh, takes Anders failed a saving throw against Fly Trap. Is uh, all it tells me. Huh? He was ensnared by something. Go get him, Spider. Oh, he can't quite get to. Well, go eat and attack, Spider. I'll put you adjacent to the caster. So then he'll at least. No, the archer can just run in here and shoot someone. <laughs> eh, she can try. Da. Jeez. Just to make myself feel better. Oh yeah, my uh, staff can ensnare people. Forgot about that. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to shove the Shoving. raging barbarian. That was. An interesting decision. So it seems like focusing the big guy was a good strategy. This yep, fight has yep, gone yep. much better. Can I get a sideline on him? I totally can. Ignis! Ah, missed me again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Get this spider out of here. Are you listening to this conversation? Oh, give me one second. You should do it uh, before you loot. Because <laughs> we'll just come back in later when the fire goes out. <laughs> Follow me. I won't go back. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find me. Sorry, I won't get near you again. We'll make sure of that. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> This feels like a trauma response. Yep. All right. Uh, I'd exit the building if I were you. Everyone, please proceed calmly to the nearest fire exit. Oh, oh, okay. Now she's running around out here, setting stuff on fire. Ow. Like me. I think Gale's safe. Magic. Oh, no, he's not really. Uh, get over here, Gale. That way. Quickly. Ah! Oh, oh, he's on fire. Yeah, she uh, occasionally runs outside, apparently, and sets stuff on out here on fire as well. <laughs> uh, around here, and uh, some bodies, I guess. No, oh, she's okay. She's working through some stuff. Whew. Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Ignots? Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? How do you look? Um, hot. Careful, soldier. <laughs> if I burn any hotter, I might explode. Hear that? Uh... Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too <laughs> close. Well, I found a way to calm it down. Don't worry, Karlak, I'm fire resistant. <laughs> you have a mechanic or a heart? Wild, right? And believe it or not, I'm one of Zariel's least mutilated pets. Mm, I don't like but this woman if she's mutilated pets. It's a bit early in the game pets. to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things if I can find him. Well, there's a whole camp full of tieflings. <laughs> Sounds like a good lead. Hopefully, our guy will be among them. A tune up would do this old tub a world of good. Alright. Uh, maybe we go down into the basement here? At the ready. Oh, yeah. I forgot there was a basement here. Uh, did you uh, already loot all the bodies? I loot the three people we killed. Uh, good, because I have some good stuff. You have a good uh, two-handed weapon, but I don't think we really need that for Karlak. I don't think it's as good as the one oh. she's got. Buy a pack. Body must have been here a good while. What up to there's padded armor floating around in here? Let me know if you find any. <laughs> Prefer that look. Let's have a look. Yeah. And like statistically in this game it's the same as leather. Aha. Uh -huh. There you are. Uh, I think if we have Karlak attack this door, she might be able to 
doing enough. She stands. She stands the best chance of getting I, through it. I have extra like poison, but I think fire might be uh, more effective against her. Let's see. Yeah, fire damage is doubled against it. So with her fire sword, it might actually do enough. Um, are you actually gonna attack it? <laughs> Taste. Let's get another lucky hit on it. Uh -huh. I don't think I'll get a crit. No one stopped me yet. And then I think, oh, you actually, there are some traps, but I don't think they really trigger unless we uh, go hit them. Yeah, there's like, like a billion traps. But I don't think we actually have to defuse right. most of them. A burrow hole. There is a way Let's to sneak in here as like a druid. I could have probably turned into a smaller animal. Uh, Be wary. This place is wild ships there. There's a pressure plate in the chair. But I'm missing something. Use perhaps. Oh. And then I think there's a tripwire thing you need to. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm done. I don't love how that's Thank all you, out. Me that's weird. Is yours on your screen? Is that all black? Pure impenetrable darkness. So you disarm the trip plate? I can't see what I disarmed, but I believe I disarmed the correct oh, thing. There it goes. Yep. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Gold and money. Top view. Piddly's favorite book. Everything worth snagging from here. Huh. Um, these gloves, whenever you use your channel oath spells, which none of us are going to have, so I don't think those gloves are really going to be particularly relevant. Feed them to Gale. <laughs> uh, there's also this helmet. I think I'd rather have the haste helm, probably. I mean, this one might look cooler. <laughs> but I think the haste helm's better. But I guess this helm, I mean, it just gives a bonus to saving throws, so we could give it to Carlac. Um, but if it's any, if it counts as any type of armor, then she loses all Try of her unarmed bonuses. If you like put it on her, does it count? Does it it'll like... it'll say on the bottom of the helmet description what kind of armor it is. I can't see her. I already sent it to her, and I can't see her inventory. It probably counts, it counts as, as medium, medium armor. armor. Okay. Yeah. Plus one to con saves would not be bad, but. But it'd be like a minus, a lot to her AC, so probably yeah. not worth it. Minus her con and the plus two from the. Uh, do we want to do a quick short rest here? I can do. Uh, well, yeah, we haven't done a we haven't done a long rest in a while, have we? So I can't do song of rest. I think we could probably take the null fight, especially if Gale has uh, crown of Mendes. <laughs> uh, I'd have to change which spells he has prepared for him to have that one. Probably. So if you can hit the. If you can hit the big scary knoll with it, 
um, that half of that fight takes care of itself. <laughs> spells better. I've got a long road ahead. And short rested, I will have my wild shape things back, both of them, which can make me pretty tanky. And I still got both of my second level spell slots. I've got all three of my spell slots and one more bardic inspiration. And Gale has two first level and two second level spell slots. I think we could take him. A step forward. That's right. Oh, you want to go in the back way or? Uh. It's probably better to go in. If we want to try and keep the guys alive, it's probably better to go in the front. Yeah, I feel like it is. If we want to. I mean, yeah, I think so. Which is this little cave, right? Yeah. That's the. Yeah, that cave's the back way. I'll try and Fire spot ice, some stuff. Potato, red pepper. There's, there's not, there's just, no, like, let's just go around, is what I'm saying. Let's oh, yeah, bother instead with of game. doing that. Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> if you want to unattach from Carlac, now, it's, it's a matter of opinion, but I think getting the rogue to sneak and then take that immediate left and kind of tuck around to the side is a really good position. Uh, like, right. Oh, not that. Didn't mean to click there. No, nope, nope, nope. Don't, don't walk there. We have... Uh, uh, here, essentially. Do we have any um, AoEs? Does Gale have Shatter or anything like that? Shatter okay. on the archers, I think, is really having good. Him, having him sneak up and start the fight with Shat by casting Shatter should earn us a surprise round and uh, um, Detention Finder. And now uh, it's time for me. Um, Let's go. Like, we're doing, do another save just, here in case we lose this fight and all die. Actually, it would be better to go. Do you want me to go all the way around this? Okay. Okay, I got noticed, I guess. <laughs> they The vision cone moved on to you, like, for just a second there. It's an annoying thing that can't happen. I can still cast a shatter that'll catch all three archers. Oh, this is interesting. I'm just going to cast the shatter. Interesting. That might be new. The... There's a dialogue there. No, I it, that's that's been there. I've never, I've never seen that before. I think we since we attacked from behind, we didn't get it. But if you walk this way, you can kind of try and communicate. I'm like. <laughs> Damn, the archers get a turn before Gale gets to try and finish them off with another AOE. Two of the three of them are. One shot. One of them is potentially one shot, depending on how hard you hit him. I am God. just. Yeah, I'm not. Nothing is happening on my screen at the moment. It's like the Flynn's turn, and he's just. I think maybe me attacking glitched it out. Yeah, I think it's glitched out. I'm going to reload the save. Yeah, he's a. Uh, it like. It like, forced me into a dialogue, and then. For from that dialogue, like halfway into the that dialogue, just straight into a fight. So it just like, really, that was weird. That was a weird one. I, I, didn't I think know that it was just a... got glitched out. That dialogue has been a thing the whole time. Yeah, yeah, you I've can, never seen it before. You can use the like mind slug to make it mm -hmm. fight for you theoretically but that's basically just having them go and kill the dudes we're trying to save under our control 
and so it doesn't really ah, much so it's our fault instead. <laughs> Perfect. That's what I. That's what I wanted. So just pause. You have to be careful. Yeah, right there, right there. This dude walking over. He like turns around for a second and then he'll like turn back. Yeah, he's the one. If you can, uh, this big, this uh, the um, crazy flail dude. Uh, if you can get him to, um, if we can stay a little bit away from him and you can mind control him, it's going to just like. That's gonna be big. I want yeah. to try and open with a shatter. Oh fuck you! What? I thought they spotted you. Shock they spotted Gale, pain. I think. The pack he, did, mind he wasn't in the cone. Onto yours. Maybe you he stopped sneaking. Through her eyes. No, see your whole world as I could try and thunder wave these leech. three over here, but I don't think it'll do enough but damage, and then they'll just the probably long. nuke me down. Yeah, I think we just... I, we want to attack. But she's just going to murder Gale now. <laughs> Since he's up close. <laughs> She actually missed, luckily enough. Uh, Lurgrim is... Oh, fuck, it's archers. They're gonna spot me. That wasn't, a, that wasn't bad for my entry to this fight. Uh, let's see how far... Oh, not dash. Let's see how far uh, Carlite can... Uh... Dang it, I keep hitting the wrong one. Pickpocket you, that wouldn't do any good. I don't really, I doubt she has anything to throw, so I should probably just like. Get st stuck in, I guess. Uh, yeah, this oh, is right. much better if we can open on an AoE on the three Null Hunters so we don't get just turned to dust by their freaking machine gun arrows. Yeah. It's a really, honestly, this fight annoys me a lot because there's three archers with the machine gun arrows, but more so because the, like, the fights that force a dialogue, even if you intentionally sneak attack, it, like, pauses it, and then they run over to one of your people and start talking to them. I understand it's to, like, push the narrative of the fight that they built, but it really honestly annoys the heck out of me because it'll like mess up your well thought out like positioning and stuff. Mm, I've got no real option here but to simply. Actually, I don't. Yeah, yeah, because I don't have cunning action yet, so I kind of just have to pass my turn and probably just get. Get machine get... gunned by this guy. Everyone using their. Oh, they're really grouping up over there, though. I think. I think Gale's just gonna. Now my soul feels dumb. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty angsty. Oh, get close to those three. Come on. Oh, damn. I mean, if this guy dashes and he ends up near those three, and I can hit a shatter before Gale goes away, I mean, I'll at least be able to catch all three of the archers in one. Let's I give us a nice couple valuable. wild magic ray. See what happens. Shatter is three to twenty-four. It's four to sixteen. I don't think until the end of your range, you can summon an intangible spirit each turn. What in the world? <laughs> Bonus action: summon a spectral flump. The flump explodes at the end of your turn. Do you like one to six force damage? <laughs> Heck yeah! Um, Reckless attack. The Flynn's. It's. Oh, missed me. Uh, the Flynn's definitely gonna just murder Gale on his turn. Oh, nope. Went for her. That's nice. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and refresh my temp HP here. And we'll hit this hyena. Dang it, made it save. That's annoying. Uh... Nade out. Ah, missed. 
and it didn't even explode. All right, that might. Did you use uh, throw instead of use on a grenade? No, it was well. I used throw on the smoke powder satchel, but I well, don't know if I had another option. I could probably to have if Gale survives, which seems unlikely. Uh, he could him shattering should probably trigger it. Uh, I'm gonna. I guess I'll just get into melee range with this thing, so I can't move away. Summon Spectra Plump. Over here. Wonder the AOE on it. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't close enough to them. Is that why it didn't hurt them at all? Yes, not. That seems weird and glitchy. Wow, that did a whole lot of damage to that guy. That, I mean, it did next to no damage to that guy. I mean, I can use my last spell slot to bonus action heal Gale. I feel like he'll just get down again, but if not, then who knows? Maybe you could do something useful. There's your machine gun now, huh? Yep. I mean, if that flump had hit them, they were both super low. That would have been a game yep. changer. That ability is such BS. Yeah, it's... <laughs> that drives me crazy. Three full power ranged attacks that they could just And it, just it really, really feels like enemies in this game hit much more consistently than player characters do. <laughs> like, it's... Um... I mean, sorry, this is, uh, that, this is that meant may just to be, be a hard fight. These are like yeah. a lot of level four and five enemies, and we're still only level three. Like we probably should be level four to try and take this on. Uh, but it's just, God, it sucks when you get when that that specific ability is just brutal. Yep. <laughs> it's it's my least. It's the one. It's like the one true ability that I've encountered in this game that to me just feels bad it just feels like, bad every time they use it on you and it's, it's like, like like there's plenty of annoying abilities you know and like annoying spell combos and stuff and if you you know are standing somewhere and you didn't notice you get yeeted into a chasm or into lava by an enemy that's mm -hmm. pretty annoying but like that's nothing compared to like, the, that the machine, machine gun, gun. Yeah. yeah that's why i said like getting off an aoe as the start to the combat on the three clustered archers while they're together is okay. like, I think thanks. I was just sitting there waiting because the game didn't auto jump me to Carlac. <laughs> yeah, I can't some even summon the flump close enough to kill that null hunter. Does zero damage, all it just saved. And then it's just immediately down, Carlyle. We'll see if I can solo this. <laughs> Leveled up. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's basically zero chance I can survive this. This, the level we're at, our best chance of surviving this is going to be um, Crown of Madness. Yeah, as long as we can, it. as long as we We're can like stay back from him a little bit, um, so that the problem is, is, I feel like we'll cast Crown of Madness on him, and then it'll just auto sprint him over to the nearest one of us and make it a dialogue. Did did it force you into a dialogue that time? It did. Like Gale cast when That's... I snuck Gale up to cast Shatter, and it just sprinted the Flint over to me and made it talk to him. That's what yeah, I'm that's about. like that's kind of annoying with these that. Encounters. 
I that's why I wonder if something has changed with that because when I went through this fight in my solo game, I did not get forced into a dialogue. Maybe it's because you cast Crown of Madness. No, I start. I I opened the game. I opened the fight with casting Shatter. Hmm. Um, what would? I don't have any useful spell scrolls, do I? That might help here. Not really. I mean, sleep's not the worst. Just remove. Oh God, there's a 35% chance that kind of madness even works. I mean, let's try it. I think he made the save. Right? Looks like it. Yeah. And no one else is. Okay. I guess no one else is in the initiative. Uh, Lurgrim move up to sneak up to here. Let's let's try. I assume it's Two not going to let me like, uh, toss this out there. Um, I'm going to try a little something here. <laughs> yeah, don't don't pass on to their turn yet if you can. Uh, okay. Uh, if you can avoid it. Okay. Very careful about this. Oh my gosh, are you just dropping it? <laughs> uh, do you have something to hit it with fire? Oh, your oh, your breath, I guess. Do you have like a fire arrow or something? I've got a couple of flasks of alchemist fire. There you go. <laughs> uh, Saboteur! Nice! That cleared him out. If only it worked on the archers. Uh, uh, well, I think it's time we collect more smoke barrels. What do you think? I think so. Actually, Gale still gets his turn and can cast Shatter on the archers. Should I level Karlak up before I ever join this fight? <laughs> sure! I'll just not pass Gale's turn. <laughs> Why not? She's not in the fight yet. Might as well get that sweet ability score bump. And a uh, bunch more XP. Let's uh, boost strength by one and maybe con by one. How does that sound? <laughs> Sounds wonderful. As far back, oh, you can't move much further back. Oh, yeah, the spider. The spider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. He That's can right. potentially eat a turn of attacks from the big guy if I put him next to him, so there's that. <laughs> Good job, little buddy. Oh, he's surprised. Yeah, it doesn't matter, he still gets to do stuff. Cool, cool. Yeah. Nice. Machine gun? No, they're using acid arrow first. Well, I think I think we need to take the uh, saboteur angle more often. That seemed uh seemed quite effective. <laughs> that was a waste of his arrow. I think that spider was at like one HP, but I will take it. Not hearing any complaints from me on that. Okay, of course. Naturally.
Kale, you need some hit points. Smash his face. Smash his face. 15 and 14 is 29. Dang. Can't get both of them. Tom will strike his face. Gonna, Tom will strike his face. And actually, no, we're going to just do this guy. Oh, he's out of sight. He's out of sight. Uh, we'll just do it that way. I think taking one of the out <laughs> is going to be the most useful thing he can do. Tuck Run and hide, Gail. <laughs> tuck him around the corner here. Do I have shillelagh active? I think I do. My stick look like, looks like it's glowing. Where can I tell that? Ah, oh, that's out. Okay. Uh, first, though, no, I don't have any temp HP now. I should. All I see, all I see, for con at least for conditions, all I see is long strider, speak of animals, momentum, threatened, symbiotic entity. I can hover over my weapon, and then I can mm. see that it has it on there for nine more turns uh but i'm just going to focus on tanking uh get those temp hp back huh. oh he's running over to <laughs> wake his friend up but that put them close to each other uh, dang it, Gale doesn't have a second level slot anymore, though. Um, but... I can do some damage to him. Would you be able to hit one of the archers? One of them. Because I could sleep... No, I can't quite, I can't quite thunder wave them. If you can well, I can thunder wave one of, one of them. If you could hit one of them for damage, uh, I think it'll drop his hit points low enough I could sleep again and hit both of them with sleep. Because that's nine. That's exactly twenty-four. Perfect. <laughs> Important is ever easy. Uh, shoot. I think I just. A little bit of a cleave. Nice. How low is this thing? Oh, it's still pretty high up there. I'm just gonna symbiotic entity again, and I assume he's gonna attack me again. Uh, and I'll try and tank another hit from him. It also doubles up this thing's damage, but he keeps making the save. This thing has, is more likely to get hit by it than hit him. Nice. Uh, and I'm just gonna top myself off here so that he has a hard time finishing me. Funny every time. <laughs> Critical miss, of course. Got the flesh in our arm. God, stay idle. And now I get to actually whack him with my. Yeah. Well, I missed anyways. Uh, how about the spores? And he made a save. I flourish. Aha! <laughs> Ah, well, I gave, uh, that gives Karlak advantage at the very least. Uh, that's what she got. <laughs> oh, they woke Glad up. To see. They woke up that time. Uh, Firebolt this one. Hide, Gale. Hide. So much of peace. Jeez, freaking thing. It's high defense. Oh. Well, next turn, Gale can take advantage of this. My attacks missed on the flint. Okay, nice. Uh, I'm not gonna get in. I'm gonna try and move up just outside of the area of the grease. So actually, I can move up and threaten this one without being in grease. There we go. 
This will at least make it. runs over and hits the ground, will it set fire to the grease? Yeah, should do. Oh, right, she already hit the, uh... Um, this guy should... Um, <laughs> at least the first two missed. Ow! The ah. most bullshit ability. Uh... Even though we're winning, I'm still mad. Uh, I'm actually gonna move. Do I have a sightline? No, I do. Okay. Uh, this is worth the cost. Get him. Oh, made my save. Good. Okay. All right. Okay. He's talking to Carlac. <laughs> I guess Carlac is disconnected from me. Or any of my all I saw was blood and there. guts. Seems like a very Carlac response. Damn it. So we'll go with that. I guess that's a no. Resin Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. Eltergard's a long way from here. Why are you heading? We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Joaquin's Rest. It's just up the road. I'd be enjoying a mug of ale right now if those beasts hadn't jumped us. Listen, you look like you know how to handle yourself. You should meet my associates. We've got our own drinking spot by the tavern. Invitation only. Tell the fellow on the door, Little Serpent, Long Shadow. He'll take good care of you. Feels like, uh... uh... It's, uh... What is it on... What is it I'm saying? Don't forget to group up with Game Boy. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, freaking Grease, get me out of here. Don't forget, don't forget to uh, group, uh, regroup yes. with Gale so we don't leave him behind. Um, Little Serpent Long Shadow sounds like a... Uh, Bad Kung Fu movie. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> um, but it uh, sounds like a... Um, uh, uh, you know, like it's, uh, it's, it's not the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean uh, kind of phrase. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear you. It's kind of weird. So I can wild shape into a deep rothe now. Uh, which can cast dancing lights and has a charge ability. <laughs> mm. Don't know why. It's kind of strange. Weird. I took second level of rogue for kind of I'll take thorn whip. Resistance could be good. Oh, that's the bonus to saving throw, not the other one I thought of. That. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually end up using it, but we'll see. I have a 17 and a 15, so I think we do that. Make wisdom an 18 and con a 16. Accept. And level up Gale. Trip. I really want to give him Shocking Grasp, so he's got a melee range option. That's probably not a terrible idea. Uh, 
plus one to it and efficiency in its saves. Warcaster gives you advantage on concentration. You can cast Shock and Grasp as your reaction opportunity attack. Uh, I might end up taking um, Resilient for con saves at my next level, like next feat with him at 8. And I'll just do the plus 1 in his 13 dex and his 17 int, and then I get up to 16 mm. con at the next one because all three of them are odd. Right. Um, I could always restat him too and might do that at some point, but for now I think I'm just going to up to 18 and up to 14 for the extra. Yeah, I'll probably bump Dex when I get a chance, but that's going to be a couple level ups for me. Misty Step is kind of nice. Bolts add misty step. <laughs> and that'll be what we'll do for now with him. Do we want to take a long rest? <laughs> Probably. Okay. Two of us are two of us are fine. Two of us are a little uh, a little beat up. I think now is but good chance to talk to some companions. Mm -hmm. Looks like Will wants to have a conversation. Oh, that's that's the other thing we're gonna have to deal with. What's it's gonna that? be hard to go to bed. The goblins oh. still Without infest the roads. Two of our companions trying to kill each other. <laughs> people are trapped. Uh, that was weird. That wasn't really actually like a big conversation thing. We just wanted to talk about goblins. I guess so. I wonder if it's just being a little glitchy because of the Carlac stuff. Go ahead. I'm listening. Anything to say, Gail? Think of it Why as... Why does it require magic? Tribute. The kind a king might pay to... And all he'll tell you is, I can't tell you. Invasion. As long as I pay, there will be peace. But should I ever stop, along comes a war. <laughs> Jesus. I can assure you. I love how my I character's face is just constantly well coated in blood, my body and my black yeah. and gray hair is usually red. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, off to talk to Karlak. <laughs> She'd also take her to the um, tiefling camp. Should. Uh, Why are we slowing down? Um, we're camping. <laughs> It's it's night. We're going to bed. Hmm. Let's see, those paladins are out of the way. What's next on your agenda? First things first. We need to get this engine tuned up. Thing's powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the hells. It can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? Hmm. How'd you end up with such a contraption? The in your year, chest? ten air. The place. Sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock kneed delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected a lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. 
through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. Well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. You mentioned a boss who gave you up to Zariel. Who was it? A guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Well, if we find him when you get to Baldur's Gate, we'll fling him out a window I'm for you. Of that girl. <laughs> oh, to feel so invincible again. Or we'll pull the old saboteur trick. This is where I thought I'd end up. How about you? Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? Mm. Middle of another adventure, blessedly free of any tadpoles. <laughs> I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the works. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of trouble to throw ourselves at. Well, you ready for bedtime? <laughs> yeah, why'd you phrase it quite that way? <laughs> <laughs> Just to keep you uncomfortable. You ready yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not doing anything else. Yeah. Select. Looks like we're going to have some blue cat mushrooms, some raspberries, some water Davian cheese, uh, some sun melon, and some garlic and red pepper. <laughs> it's the weirdest salsa I've ever seen. You put together a real brunch there, aren't or you? A, it's kind of a fruit salad slash salt. It's like a. It's, it's a whole thing. Forest. It also, actually, I should have just under, it auto selected to use forty eight out of forty supplies. Uh, that is, that is very bad. inefficient. Can't imagine that I'm was the really... best way to do it. Uh, oh. He just he noticed this. He noticed this morning, huh? <laughs> Fair enough, Will. Let's talk about that. Carlax all fire and fury. Oh. I pray to the trash that doesn't consume her. Just speak with animals before you talk to him. Well, apparently he's chill about it. What the heck? Why is? Do I need to? Do I need to the choose one of these? front is at your calling. What? It's not giving like a cutscene specific thing with his exclamation. What do you make of Raphael? Brings to mind a story. Yeah, because he's not going to challenge. He's not going to challenge Carlac until we rest again. Because for some reason he didn't notice Carlac was in camp until this morning. And the moral: a farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach. But his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. Don't you think? With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil? Refuse him. No matter how tempting the offer. No matter how delicious the feast he lays out. Awfully morally upstanding for a dude who made a deal with the devil and draws power from that. But that's fine. That's none of my business. I have no interest That's in the devil's deal. You still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough, Will. Fair enough. Yeah, he like 
We literally woke up this morning and across camp, Will just yelled like, it's her, the devil god. <laughs> we must rest in camp so we can talk. And it's like, um, but okay. she's been here all night. You idiot. Before I go and talk to Scratch, I'm going to do this right now. Gotta be a gross spider. Where you going, buddy? Standing back here, somewhere on top of a rock. That's where he's going. I didn't introduce myself before. You can call me Scratch. I'm so sorry about what happened to your master. Master, friend. I stayed with him until until I knew he was dead. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Everyone approves of this. <laughs> what is this song playing in the background? <laughs> it's like the light lyrics to it. Oh, I can't hear it. Best be on my way. Very strange. Um, Will still has an exclamation point above his head for me. Yeah, me too. I think we just gotta leave camp. I, it's not really making anything happen when I try and talk with him. So, Hawaii. I think I have an idea of something I want to do with Gale's build, where I will have to restat him. Um, that I think would be interesting, but I kind of want to wait till a more story appropriate moment to do it something glowing down here. There's some alchemist fires, which as we've learned can be quite useful. Always will be. Oh, we just need a bunch of uh, smoke powder barrels. There, aren't there a bunch of barrels down here? Are there wine barrels? There's a, uh, there's a bunch down the... Um, down the trapway. <laughs> uh, well, there's... Uh, um, I don't know if there's a bunch down that trapway. I know there's a bunch of smoke powder barrels down in the, um, the Zentarum hideout, but I don't think they'll let you take them. <laughs> wow, that's just four bottles of wine in there. Three bottles of wine in there. I'm building up quite the wine collection. A locked chest over here. More so. wine, gold, potion of healing. <laughs> Watch out, there's a trap. I say running away. Car's lag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. All right, Car's lag, come on, back up here. Oh, has got a lot of hit points compared to the rest of us. From this distance <laughs> between El Torel and Baldur's Gate, I'd say a long way away. Oh, I ain't getting word to my mother right the tricky. No matter. What she doesn't know can't hurt her. Not at this distance, anyways. Odd way to phrase that, Gail. What, uh, whatever could you mean, not at this hmm. distance? Hmm. All right. <laughs> Is it a vertical Give this distance? Another Is she true. dead? Did you bury her? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have some secret that uh, has a chance of injuring people at a large distance? Reasons grasp. Uh, uncommon gloves. Ever vigilant when the wearer chooses to end their rage, they gain 15 temporary hit points. Probably not better than the plus two AC she's got right now. Yep. So we'll send him to Gale so we can eat him later. <laughs> Wait, does I guess if it's in, on his person, he'll eat it. You can choose to have him. Uh, um, why are there so many bottles of wine? <laughs> Fairmates get a little choppy. Um, 
Well, do we want to go over to Joaquin's Rest now? Yeah, might as well. It's right around the corner. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting uh, my primary skin a little choppy as well. Guess there's a lot of dead bodies and stuff over here. I don't know if maybe walking a bit away will help, potentially. somewhere where there would be a little oh god yeah very choppy um a little staircase there down a little bit might be my computer kind of Smoke. freaking out from something's burning Trying to do too many things trying at the same to do time. Too many things at once right now. Okay. Let's pause here a moment. I might try and cut this out. I might not. Uh, is there a way to pause this? Don't think there is. Some rendering. This one I don't think. Software there is. lets you pause it, but not all. I think it's just gonna have to be what it is, I suppose. If I don't end up editing that out, well then there's a little peek behind the screen of OBS and <laughs> Discord. I warned you. It's always the same. I always tell them. Don't try and Export a video while you're recording another one. <laughs> no, never. Oh no, they could, their 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 computer can handle it, can't it? Grant me the faith to face darkness. You probably should have talked to this lady. I probably won't be very nice. Yeah, what the hell is happening here? Massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. Okay. What? Times. Okay, good. Uh, do you want this drow armor? It's good light armor. Um, I can throw it on if it's better than what I'm wearing. It's, it's basically studded leather. Should be. Don't know if it'll look quite as good with the hat you're wearing. In fact, it just looks ridiculous on me in general. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, it's a little a little funky looking. You know, early early game gear. Always looks There's, a little silly. You can get plus one padded mm -hmm. from uh Oh gosh, I don't want this chop. Some of the guys back in the um <sighs> What's it called? Stephen Camp. Oh yeah, this freaking creature inner Goliath. Uh, you probably should have Carlac go up and talk to these people at the door so she can kick it open. <laughs> because while I look like I'm strong, I'm not very strong. <laughs> No time for questions. Oh, wait, wait. Guidance. Oh, uh, I'll throw my guidance on instead. <laughs> uh, I, I switched it back to mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I want to guidance the barbarian. No, I want to guidance her. Inside, hurry. We don't have much time. Neil, you stay out here. You're just, you and your spider are just going to get yourself lit on fire. I might uh, wait out here as well. That way, the, when she comes running out, you'll be out there to talk to, hopefully. Ugh, this place is not going to help with the choppy frame rate issue I'm having right now. 
Sorry, people who are watching this and are annoyed by choppy frame rate. Hopefully it's not too unbearable to watch and I will be able to learn from my mistakes next time, I suppose. Well, that's not going to be very efficient. I will shillelagh. Come. I'm afraid proper thanks must wait. Fair enough. Go down there. Talk to the pretty dragon boy. Oh, you think I'm pretty? I'm here. Pretty stupid, Connie. <laughs> She, yeah, she literally just ran out here and started a conversation with me. It takes more than mere fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Gauntlet, report to the manor and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. The rest of you, count the dead. Take word of their sacrifice to the city. Not their names, just their number. <laughs> I must ask again for your aid. Please, rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The Council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? Well, Raven God's a champion to the people of Baldur's Gate. A champion indeed. He's the invisible. Whether or not I believe that, that's what I'll say. Together. Without him, the city faces collapse. In fact, I fear that may have been the intention of those who abducted him. Actually, they probably abducted him to infect him with a brain slug so they could control the city. <laughs> Where's that option? <laughs> it might <still. laughs> uh, Yeah. Well, uh, I'll travel west and rescue Duke Raven God. Oh, Thank God, you. <laughs> and should your courage falter. Remember the Duke's uh, generosity. Go. You should pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements uh, and join yeah, you when yeah, I yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fist to work. Here we go. Yeah. Um, do we want a fancy lightning staff for Gale? Um, or for me. What is the... The spell, the spell sparkler? When the wielder sure. deals damage with a spell or cantrip, they gain two lightning charges. Oh, yeah, that'd be good for Gale. Ooh, especially with what I'm thinking about doing for Gale's build. <laughs> Quite ready for it. Getting him lightning charges stuff might be really good. It's also got a stupid name, the Spell Sparkler. <laughs> spell or cantrip will get two lightning charges. Group him to me. Can't give up now. <laughs> but we just leave him in some town somewhere. <laughs> Wonder why he's not helping. Uh, the way they do it for yeah. Oh, it's gonna walk me right into the fire to do it. That was pointless. Good thing I jumped. And Gale did a better job of jumping at least. Don't want to take too much damage. Let me go talk to this frightened oh, ox. Oh, calm down, buddy. It's okay. Calm, friend. I won't harm you. Is there another water barrel nearby? I could have sworn there was. You speak to me? The monsters only scream. I was ready to run you through. Well, I do also have... Uh... My mistake, friend. Multiple That's all right. So what happened? An attack. Monsters. Little ones. And taller ones. They took the shiny one. He killed many. Took the shiny Ow. one. Then? He was the biggest. <laughs> now I'm the biggest. 
You seem a little too jazzed about that, Frightened Ox. <laughs> yeah, I know. Waving around its metal. I made him stop screaming. Good job, buddy. Let's just walk away slowly. Okay, I just immediately set that guy's body back on fire, but... This is no, the spot uh, Ruben marked. Oh, hmm, it doesn't look like you much. look... How are you so injured all of a sudden? Uh, because for some reason, if you throw bottles of water, you just start getting electrocuted. That or there's specifically electricity That's somewhere under that bridge over there. Huh. It's really weird. I don't know. What? Did I get into my inventory too quick? Where am I gonna? Oh, there it is. Nothing. These three. You. Ouch. I've got a bunch of these, so I'm just gonna drink one of these too. Oh, you go through and talk to the. You're the criminal. You talk to the people in here. Alrighty then. <laughs> spot a man crouching between the shelves just as he's Dugger. oh hell's orbs i thought you were flaming fist do i look like flaming fist Down to you, you sir go, <laughs> now, honest, you're the one with the um flaming trail, fist just be quick <laughs> this is true entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe here's the key spoil regular wooden barrel you'd better not be venomous who's he talking to he's talking to the spider i think <laughs> the spider that's at one <laughs> that's very similar to being at six <laughs> <laughs> you're not entirely wrong about that Oh, I can't ritual cast it again? Maybe oh, after an extra short rest, I could ritual cast it again, I guess. Oh. At least people will be like, what's up with that fucking spider? Uh, once again, if you'd like to take a point here, you oh, criminal no scum. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly, and maybe we'll kill you clean. Loading. Hold on. That's the lad who saved us from the knolls. About to be XP. Though, <laughs> there we go. tongue gets any looser, Rugen. I'll cut it out. Come down, then. Seems you're a friend of the family. Sheesh. All right, then. Well, come down, girl. Come down. Logan rolled a critical fail on a perception check. <laughs> Don't get comfortable. That might be worth a look. Here, make your fella draw me something. You got coin? Yeah, all right. Fine. But who are you? Hello, madam. Don't pretend you know what that means. I owe you one for saving my people. The Zentarim look out for their own. Even if it's rude. That's worth some coin. And my thanks. Our trader can show you some of our more exotic items now. But don't delay. This place is likely to be rubble soon. Well, what are you planning to do? Someone kidnapped a duke. Right on our bloody doorstep. The Flaming Fist will need someone to blame. I don't plan on it being us. Actually, they're blaming the drow, and they're organizing too much out of the... Never mind. Uh, some shipment rewards you receive. What did I receive? Um, 
it's I think a special heavy crossbow. Did it give it? It must have given it to you. Oh no, it did give it to me. Herald, heraldish doom. When you deal a da deal dam when you deal a damage to when a target a damage. with a ranged weapon, it must succeed on a charisma save or be baned for two turns. It's a plus one heavy crossbow. Yeah, I'm not I don't know if I can. That. I don't think I can use it either. I'll send to Carlac. She could probably use it as her ranged option. That's something. I do want a heroic likeness. Yes. You have a pet artist? Never ah. dull moment. Well, it was nice of you to take him in and protect Let's him. Let's say we're in <laughs> patron. Do you have anything else to trade? Got some interesting stuff for a friend of the family. Here's where we see if I can afford both uh, or all of the fancy stuff that I want. <laughs> the big thing is the gloves of thievery. I gloves of thievery, yeah. Uh, which are only 108. Not too bad. They do have... Um, a couple of different... Plus one reapers as well. One of which gives a, like, special extra ability. Let me put it on with this one as well. Actually, well, first, first things first. Let's sell uh, some junk. A couple of hats, a ring. Couple of daggers. Can't give up now. I have so many just arrows and <laughs> potions and poisons and a bunch of alchemy supplies now. Oh, I don't really need this battle axe. I can sell that. Just a dozen bottles of wine. Oh, pie to crack eggs. <laughs> uh, let's. And these things that's one eighty nine. How much would this cost? One fifty three. This one's two thirty four, but has another special ability on it, which, because I'm playing around with the controller, I can't see what it does. <laughs> Wonder if the fish pay better than this lot. I wonder if the fish pay better than this lot. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, there's some uh, medium armor in here. Uh, rare can, medium armor. I can take a look too, and I have a bunch of junk to sell. Okay, I'm going to... There's also plus one leather. That's kind of the same bonus. as what you're wearing, isn't it? Yeah, but it gives a plus one to stealth. I think the draw armor does too, doesn't it? It does not. This set does not. Hmm. Um, if you get it, the draw armor down in the Underdark, it does. Um, I might get this padded armor. It's one less bludgeoning damage for the same AC, and it's going to look better. <laughs> Which is the most important stat, style. Of course. Technically, have enough to afford this as well. I applaud your taste. No one's stopping now. Especially if I like do something like that. I don't have a ton of super valuable stuff to trade. Mostly, it's food items and. A decent chunk of money, but will be worth it. Or, oh, I guess if you're going to interact with them, I'll send uh, these gloves of power, fun? unless somebody else wants to use them. Blood. Uh, no, they're no. like on hit. They give like a debuff, right? Yeah. Well, uh, if you have the gold, actually, let me see if those are better than. 
on a melee hit, which I will do, minus d4 on attack rolls and saving throws. I just have metal gloves right now. So, I'll use them. They're probably better than the ones I did have. We had a chat. Yeah, I'll just send you a couple of Something I can help you bits with. and bobs for you to sell. Of course. Got some interesting stuff for a friend of the family. Shulty Vest. He took a mess from the wear. Takes damage while having light detected becomes... What? Damage while light detected from a seed or becomes shocked. What does shocked do? Can take reactions and has disadvantage on ability checks and saving throws using dexterity. Interesting. Does he have a? Does he sell uh, any hand crossbows? Uh, good question. It does not look like it. I don't think this is a hand. This is a heavy. Yeah. Um, I'll keep a magic item or two. Which ones aren't worth much? Seventy six, forty four, thirty six, twenty four, thirty four. I have this dancing lights locket as well. That's not super useful. Okay. Keep a couple magic items there too. Mm -hmm. Uh keep the gale. I don't really care about the Salonite prayer stuff anymore. This scroll of mage armor is pretty useless to me. Um, I think I'm like 99. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to get something that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to get, but it's a secret tool for later. Is it uh, part of your secret gale build? It's my secret gale build plan which I'll probably start rebuilding him into the next time uh, we go to camp. Yeah, respecking is only like 100 gold or something it's like that. It's only 100, so. yeah. And I have an interesting idea for a build I want to do with Gale that I think will be a fun one that kind of is more makes sense too. What do you have? Um, Rort. Oh. I do want to steal a smoke powder barrel, but uh, seen everything. <laughs> don't want to get in trouble for doing it. Um, you should come up here and uh, talk to one wolf in particular, but you can talk to all of them if you want. <laughs> I mean, ooh. oh, wait, don't let anyone see you dig into that dirt. Land. <laughs> Apparently, it's a crime. Stealth dig? Question mark. Mostly just using it to check for vision cones. Go a uh, couple of necklaces and a ring. Hmm. Well, we get like a pretty fat stack of uh, XP for finding the underdark technically probably <laughs> we can just leave right afterwards yeah yeah you can just that you can well. you can just run around on that Not platform like and like loot all the Wait chests and crates that. which have a lot of these tools and some what, poisons and stuff like that to stay with master um, keep master from the dark what's up for discussion what about this wolf round and round again master gets confused i think hmm. what does this button do it's a crime to push it, so I'm not going to find out. Uh, is it the sleeping wolf I need to talk to? Neither of those two yeah. have much of value to say. Careful. Yeah. No stone scent. No stone sound. Strange stone here. Strange stone here. Hmm. 
I yeah. will loot. Fuck Whoa, what was the one you want? I won that. Oh, gosh. I introduce you to an elevator. But strange. You can't use it, can you? Perhaps if there was a clever rogue here to help. Advantage with Gloves of Thievery. Might as well throw this uh, guidance on there as well. Doesn't hurt. Oh, Gloves of Thievery feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty freak, pretty knuckin' futs in this game to just always pass these checks. Into the underdark. Away we go. Mm -hmm. And it's like similar to the ladder. Uh, that you can find elsewhere. There is just a, uh, a uh, kind of a cut shockingly scene. long cutscene. I don't think we need to go much further in the Underdark just yet. <laughs> I think yeah. we just pop out and loot their little stand out here and then mm -hmm. go back from whence we came. Just when I was getting used to yeah, it's a nice little stack game. XP for doing that. Is this the Underdark? A locked chest here as well. It's uh, is that an issue loading in? This place is pretty spectacular, isn't it? No book or painting could ever do its strange beauty justice. Perhaps our story might. Two elevens. Fancy arrows. In this heavy chest, is it trapped or something? Be wary. Yes. This place is trapped. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm uh, glad. I, I mean, I remembered, but uh, I'm also pleased to see you remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, three more sets of thieves' tools. Heading yeah, away. that's that's one of the good reasons to come down here is that there's two just, more like, sets of thieves. Thieves tools everywhere. A uh, bunch of scrolls of speak with the dead, which I'll send to Gale, and some scrolls of false light, which I'll also send to Gale. For just I don't know why I just she's the wizard. Another locked chest here. Oh God. Gods, what's happening? Bullet, probably. You can't get up area. here, right? <laughs> no, I, at least I've never seen it up here. <laughs> That's just like a metric F ton of camp supplies in this place. Yeah. A long sword and a dagger. Nothing. Another locked chest Let's over here. Four more thieves' tools. It feels like it should be impossible for you to ever not succeed at one of these things. Oh. Apparently, I got too yeah. close to some uh, spores. That voice. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a spore effect as well. More thieves' tools. No, listen. The mic in it. It's warning us. Oil of diminution, oil of accuracy, drow poison, and simple toxin. Bronze necklace, garnet ring. More bottles of wine. I feel like we've pretty thoroughly looted the place. Oil of accuracy and drow poison. Yeah, it's um, just for like thieves' tools and like some poisons and oils and stuff. It's just, and can't just can camp supplies in general. It's just super worthwhile coming down here. And it's kind of a cool little spot. I had, uh, I found this just like totally by chance wandering around the Zentarum outpost. Um, thought it was neat that it was back here. Um, from here. Do we want to go back to Blighted Village? 
Uh, should we go talk to the Infernal Smith? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Before we forget. Back to Emerald Grove and the Virens. I think will be the closest. Yeah. Weird that they didn't put a fast travel uh, point actually, in. Actually, let me... I have a couple soul yeah. coins. Let me send those to you so you can do that with Black Heart. And I'm actually going to run back to camp really quick. Oh. Karlak wants to talk about it. Something. Oh, let me get back to camp and then I'll I'll listen if it's I'll listen in on the conversation. All right. Me. Are you Might ready? Be a private moment. Yeah, I'm ready. So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. <laughs> Got a coin slot in your heart, or what? <laughs> sort of. Next time we find ourselves toe-to-toe -to -toe with something we want to squash, drop a coin in. See what happens. Soul coins are a very interesting part of d and Intriguing. Like to because Next time they, we're in battle, we'll make sure we get them. They do literally have Fuck yes. a, uh, it's now like I a soul. Something to sink my and it's like currency into. for the hells. Yeah, they're used, they're used as like fuel for infernal engines and stuff so even mm -hmm. like infernal war machines run off of like soul coins uh, which is funny that they're like coin operated mm -hmm. uh, Mad Max vehicles <laughs> <laughs> ah, I shall be here in my camp for whenever thou hast need of my service uh, a mech should I'm bow or any of thy compatriots exactly. perish a matter of coin. Open the gates. Oh, I didn't want to click that. Thanks. Not this one. Nor this one. I riddle thee not. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation. They bear good for a mere pittance of coin. Okay. I might summon the worthiest as thou. Of my I think this will be an interesting build. One now, right? Yes. Level one, we do this. I'm not sure I even want to know what. <laughs> Just because knowing, knowing you and D and D builds in the real world, uh, you just have me worried. Whoa. I think these cantrips are fine. I'm not really going to use these cantrips anyways. And I think I'm going to do this domain. And the deity for those that... I mean, what? Domain! <laughs> for those that know Gale's story, uh, this makes a lot of sense. And it's fun. Uh, not doing that, though. Excuse me, sir. Would you be interested in buying a pocket full of necklaces and maybe a couple of rings? I swear I came by all of these legitimately. <laughs> mm -hmm. Offended, you would suggest otherwise. Good sir merchant. Let's go there. Actually, not there. I guess I can dump that. I'm not going to be using it. Uh... Do I really go kind of min maxi yeah. with it? Let's drop this down so I can up that to 15. Ooh. That, he's selling that for only 36? Well, I'm going to buy that and send it to one of our spellcasters. <laughs> Holy cow, that is a really good elixir. <laughs> Reasonable. I think that's. Oh, I bet that's okay. your old short leather armor. Oh, I still have a plus one to apply somewhere. Uh, I don't know if there's any plus one intelligence feats out there. So I could actually drop this down, do that, and not dump that. And get the plus one. 
This domain doesn't exactly make sense with this one, but I think it's the closest besides maybe doing this domain, but that's fine. Uh, we don't really need him to also have guidance. That's pretty redundant, but I don't think any of the other rest of the, I mean, maybe instead of guidance, I'll give this just because he's a human. It's not great, so I'm going to sell that, I think. Confirm. I'm holding on to that plus one dagger so that I can dual wield it. Then we... Uh, add a class. Okay, that only gives the poisoned effect, whereas that gives him the poison effect. Oh no, that just deals poison damage, but doesn't. So that will give him the poison condition. That will actually do poison damage. Firebolt, shocking grasp. Mage hand can come in handy sometimes. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, that's that's why that's why I took it because I can disarm oh. traps from a distance. You have it, then I will not take it. Uh, don't need to be redundant with these other spells. So, hmm, can use that on multiple people. Oh, I hope this might make him unlearn the spells I spent money on the scrolls of. That's kind of annoying. Didn't think about that. Hopefully it doesn't, but I guess we'll see. We're, Sorry, Dad. We're doing okay on money. And honestly, like like any game, we'll start making money really pretty fast. Because you kind of always do. Though, eh, sir? Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, well, it's now level two. Oh, good for him. <laughs> For some shenanigans. Let me do that. I'm going, going to really send. About preparing yet. I'm going to send Gale an elixir of arcane cultivation, hmm. which gain an additional level one spell slot. Uh, essentially, like until the next long rest, because I believe Sweet. that's how the elixirs work. And that seems that seems good. Misty step, I think. All right. <laughs> and then we change out some equipment on him. Mm. Just send these old clothes to me so I can oh, yeah. sell them at some Over point. Here. Where to get you when it's inspect? Oh no, that just gives me uh, this information. If you go to tab, you'd see all of our gear, and you notice he probably looks a good bit different, uh, and is currently and, uh, tied for the highest AC in the party. As well, but it was not as bad as it could have. Uh, where are you at? Uh, Druid camp currently. Okay, I'll start heading that way. So the idea here is I took 
a first level in cleric, and I did the Tempest mm-hmm. cleric. Um, eventually, I'd like to probably get a second level in the Tempest cleric because of their channel divinity uh, for that specific one, where you can use your channel divinity whenever you cast a spell that deals lightning or thunder damage to just deal maximum with it. Mm. Uh, which, if you're casting like shatters and lightning bolts, is kind of insane. Right, right. But I took it as the deity Mistra, which is the goddess of magic. Which, if you haven't right. gotten to that kind of conversation with him, is a big part of his backstory. I have not, but I know he talks about Mistra all the time. So there's a big thing there with his backstory. So I'm, him being a cleric of Mistra, uh, I thought would be kind of neat. And then it allows him to wear heavy well, he... armor and use a shield and be much more survivable and tanky. He looks more like a crusader, to be honest. <laughs> a little bit. Um, and now but... he has more hit points than I do, so I'm not sure I trust him. <laughs> Uh, it makes him tankier. It will delay him getting third level spells. He'll have to wait till sixth level to get them instead of getting them at fifth. Uh, he'll have the mm. slots for it, and he can just upcast shatters and stuff. But he won't be able to learn like lightning bolt yet. But then that seventh level, I'll take the second level of cleric and have that channel divinity. And I think that'll be a pretty fun build for him. And I just like that it makes him a much more survivable caster to have the extra. It's stuff. true. It does do that. All right, let's talk to this here blacksmith. Come along, Karlak. Oh, get a little bit of those lag spikes trying to load all these people in again. Choppy, choppy. Thought I sensed an infernal around here. But you aren't from Eldoro. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the hells. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Eltaro. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You, you just spell it? What is it, a diesel? <laughs> a little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. <laughs> Sounds like the ocean. And by the ocean, <laughs> I mean the river Styx. You, you really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together. Tried to house metallurgized Demano valves inside a Ragnax alloy prison. Very risky. I might be able to help. I just Maybe noticed she has iron. like runes etched on her horns. I that my hammer will survive the wind. Oh, on her horns? Yeah, I didn't notice that. I, I know she has like the runic tattoos. Apparently, apparently somebody's translated the infernal runes that you can get tattooed onto your face in character creation, and. I believe the results are actually very funny if you choose to get them uh, on your face. I don't remember what they say, but first. Uh, help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch. Hey, soldier, I think we picked up someone with that infernal iron already. What say you? Should I? Oh yeah, look at that on the like inside of the like curls. That's really cool. Absolutely. Let's see what he can do. I don't remember work. exactly what this does. Mm. I think it gives her a conditional option while she's it. raging or something. And that blaze Some of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Well, it also just like kind of upgrades this quest. Give me just a moment. Uh, but he tells you the same thing everybody else in this game tells you, which is meet me in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> uh -huh. And I think. I know for the sake of the story, this is good enough, but I just love that he just, like, gets a yeah. trunk of iron, hits it five times with there. his hammer, and then is like, there you are. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of idiot. Let me just stab this thing into my chest. <laughs> I kind of want an animation of that her, is... like, unhinging the, like, valve in the center of her chest and good. putting something into I'm like seeing the infernal heart whole, but I feel less which one of hell's holds cheers mate pleasure and as for the heat 
I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Carla. No, of course, Baldur's Gate's just down the road. You, we should be there, what, just tomorrow? Yeah. The day after? Pocket Level end, right? 10, 11, 12, something like that? <laughs> well, Karlak, what do you think? Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Hmm. Still can't touch you, though. Do you want to? Of course. I'd like that. See, no. Carlac likes flirting with Carlac. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Besides, I'm fire resistant. It'll be hard. How bad could it be? <laughs> I'll only half die. Uh, let me get up here. And I think we're probably pretty close to a good stopping point, I think, on this episode. Uh, we've upgraded Carlac and Gale, uh, <laughs> I suppose. Technically speaking, Gale has been upgraded. I probably should have bought some dyes, too, while we were down there to see what kind of new armor looks we could do with them. Oh, yeah, I've never I've never played around with the dyes, but I probably should, because it worked out so well in our four-player game for the two people who decided to actually dye their armor. Yes. Uh, um, as you know, there is some lovely colors for the particularly gaudy bard out there. Uh, I wouldn't consider myself quite that gaudy. Do you have any colors? Uh, does this bed sell any you colors you would else? describe as dashing? Always you happy don't think hot pink, pink is dashing? Stuff. Well, I don't think the pink leopard print that uh, <laughs> Kidley dyed all his clothes is necessarily <laughs> dashing. Did you, dye his, did you dye your underwear the hot pink as well? I did. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> I dyed Helson's underwear. <laughs> That's right. Uh... That's right, yeah. Because <laughs> unfortunately we left it with only his pipe to his name. His pipe, which he did not leave camp with. Uh, Muddy red dye? This, he's got some dyes here. Green, red, pale orange, ocean. Does it seem like it's a, like a dark green or a pale green? I don't know. I'll put it on and find out. I like dyes. I'm, with the random junk I'm selling him, it's going to be 43 gold to get a couple of dyes. Uh... I know I said this where we'll end the episode, but first, fashion, fashion. show. Yep. <laughs> uh, hmm. Combine. I'm going to be naked for a second. Oh, no, I won't. <laughs> uh, it just kind of does some of the detailing of the armor on mine. So the answer is I don't really know because it didn't really change much <laughs> about my armor. Uh, but I will. Because you are, you <laughs> are wearing... Lazel's armor, <laughs> which is something that we shouldn't, uh, something we shouldn't uh, <laughs> forget. Certainly not. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, don't mind. Gale's armor. I just need to figure Ooh, out where in my that's inventory cool. it went. Not much oh, different than what he was wearing, but it is neat. Green eye. For your padded armor, I feel like it should make quite the difference. I would assume so. Ooh. I like it. I like I do. I like that as well. Well, with our newfound fashion, I think this is where we ought to uh, call this episode adjourned. Um... Next time, I think we'll probably start making our way towards the goblin camp. Um, or maybe, or we could, while we're here next time, maybe we'll head down to the Druid Grove. I, I hear there's something else to be found down there that we've missed on previous <laughs> playthroughs that might be worth our time. Uh, I'm fine with that. I think the goblin camp is kind of our next direction, isn't mm -hmm. it? Kind of mm. could be goblin camp or the swamp. Uh, depending, um, and towards uh, one individual. I should, uh, I should. Uh, you can do, do the outro. I'm just gonna run down and see if uh, Damon has uh, a hand crossbow for sale. Ah, good call. Um, but 
that will be the end of this episode and uh we will see you in the next one when wherever we go we well go there thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one